and Noble or Amazon. Beautiful scene there. Okay, another hot day ahead. Temperatures getting ready to climb even higher. Seven First Alert meteorologist Mike Taylor tracking the extreme heat. Little break tonight, Mike. Some people without power because of it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Right, that's right. Just a little break. And those storms, they brought some brief relief, but they also caused some power outages. And those storms will will have be able to do it once again for the day tomorrow, unfortunately, because all the ingredients will still be there in the atmosphere. Here's a look at the summary of today's high temperatures, focusing on the heat, 95 in Detroit, Pontiac at 94, Lapeer 96, Adrian 95, and Monroe. 94 degrees for today's high temp. Let's check out the almanac briefly. I want you to see the record there, 101. Even though we're dealing with this extreme heat, they're still going to be tough to break any of these records. They're just slightly out of reach, mainly because this time of year records are already so high and we're expecting another 95 degree day for tomorrow. 75 degrees outside right now. Humidity is still fairly high. Winds from the southeast at 12 miles per hour. And just looking at the forecast across the entire area, clouds are still around due to the big storms down to the south. Uh, just off the coast of Monroe and south of southwestern Ontario, just south of uh, Leamington there. Uh, the worst of this is moving over Lake Erie. Once this batch of storms gets out of here, conditions will slowly start to improve. In fact, looking at your forecast for tonight, I'm thinking we're going to have numbers into the 70s. But behind the scenes, the excessive heat watch will remain in effect along with the Ozone Action Day for Wednesday. So a lot going on with alerts on top of alerts for your Wednesday heat. 73 in Detroit for tonight, M Mount Clemens at 71, Port Huron at 70. Into the day tomorrow, 95 the high temp, starting off in the mid 70s. And then we'll have a slight chance of seeing some storms into the afternoon. By the evening, we'll still be hot and humid. We'll do a repeat on Thursday. So both days have chances of afternoon showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be heavy. And then looking at the muggy meter, it will drop after a cold front arrives on the tail end of the week. And that will be progress. That will cool the temperatures down if you want to call the upper 80s cool. But when you have real fill numbers in the triple digits, if it feels like 85 outside, that's a little bit of relief. And the storms, once again, a possibility, but the best chance of widespread storms. Looks like that's going to be Friday until that cold front finally arrives. And if you look closely at next Tuesday, it looks like the heat wave comes right back after the weekend brief relief that we're going to have. Back to you. Yeah, looking forward to that weekend cool down. All right, Mike, thank you. Serving up Chicago.